Good morning. So this is what's going on right now. Uh, you can see all this really nice stainless fitting here. Um, this will be a couple day video. This is going to be a spreader uh, in our manure storage building. So it'll, I think manure storage is about 100 feet long. Uh, this is gonna be 80 feet long. And so the manure will come from the barn onto the belt, onto this belt, and it's going to actually spread it from one side to the other, the whole length of that building. It should help with dryness. Uh, so why I'm doing this now is A, um, our manure has been a little bit wetter than we'd like it. It's harder to spread, it's harder to handle. Um, number two, um, we have pulled the trigger. We've decided on which uh, housing system we are going to do for our birds. It's going to be an FDI system. And so the manure storage building, uh, when we built it, we built it big enough to handle both barns. Um, but now it's, so now it is actually going to handle both barns. Um, obviously the other barn is liquid. Now it's going to be dry. So uh, we are just starting to put this together. Um, I got to figure out and make some brackets to hang this in off the trusses. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to get some square tubing stainless, which I have, and then we'll just put a piece of, this is the bottom by the way, so it's going to run here. This will be flipped that way. And then we are going to run, I think, ready rod straight up to the truss. I got to figure that length out and we'll be able to hang this whole, whole system will be kind of cool. So here is, uh, this is what is going to help spread. There's the motor. This is the drive and and this is the other other end of it. Um, I do have to talk to them because those pieces are bent. Uh, they told me I had some bent pieces and they were going to get us uh, pieces to replace those because I'm not, you don't pay money even though it's gonna be handle manure. Uh, when you spend the money on stuff like that, you don't want it to be bent and that was a shipping issue. So actually I don't even care who has to pay for it. It's not gonna be me. I want straight ones. Even though nobody's gonna see it but me, but that's how anal I am. So, uh, yeah, this is basically just a big Meccano set. I don't, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna carry on with this. Actually, we're gonna get the drive unit out next, and we're gonna start attaching it. And this is gonna be in sections, so we'll just take it down there and uh, hang it, which will probably be, will be tomorrow. And yet again, this might be a couple week long video. I don't really know. Um, because, so when I get everything figured out here, I ha now have to, because there's obviously manure in there. Um, it did get spread this year, but now there's more manure. It's weird, chickens keep making that. So uh, I'm gonna have to get that spread. We're gonna have to get all this prepped ready. We're gonna have to get that manure spread. We're gonna have to hang it, get it wired, and then obviously run it right away and fill our manure storage back up with manure. So carry on. Here is the owner man owner's manual. And that is what it is going to look like. Obviously there's the belt there. Uh, the belt is going to go this way. Actually, it's going to go this way. Our manure is going to drop into that area and it's going to come this way. This spreader goes back and forth and uh, it's quicker than the belt so it can push the manure off uh, as it comes down. So this will manure will come, hit this blade and it'll fall. But that blade moves so it'll get spread evenly across uh, the area it needs to. So let's get to work. Okay, so this doesn't come with hangers, but this is kind of what I am envisioning. So there will be a nice piece of square tubing, like I said, and then be a straight piece up, and this will just hook over the truss, both sides. We can uh, put a piece of flat plate there too, if we want to give it a little, little screw into the side panel for no movement. So I gotta make that happen. I believe I have some tubing we're gonna go get. I'm gonna start cutting it to length. And then I'll have to go to the welding shop in uh, in town here because I don't have a break. But I need to make this happen here, this bracket here, and then this will just be a piece of piece of ready rod and or um, just a piece of pipe. It doesn't really matter. But uh, preferably, I would like the rest of this out of stainless too because this is all stainless. And obviously, when you're dealing with manure, things corrode.
the baker brackets. This was one we marked up quick. Now picture that it's going to be all the way long with the hook to go onto the uh, rafters. But there we are. That's going to start cutting, then we're going to drill. Newbie. Yes. Oh. Okay, that's cool. I will do so. Thanks, Mark. Talk to you. Bye. Try to keep it cool where it comes up. Good morning again. So, couldn't carry out this video. But a week later since I picked this back up, so we got my angle iron. So we are going to attach. We're gonna hang this off the top and go and uh, attach it in three different spots through all the bracing, through the trusses, um, and that'll be good and strong. Is the game plan? So, uh, stainless bolt. That's gonna hang underneath. Um, that will be underneath. Bolts are up. Actually, sorry, it's going to be this way. This will be the top, angle brace, and then I can have that much adjustment to make, make it level, so that will be good. So we are going to weld this bolt to these pieces of angle iron. Okay, so here we are. I have my table set up. Everything's cut the same way, so. That bottom's out. Make sure that is level. C clamp it. We put our bolt. It's going to end up really hard one here at the end. We're going to clamp it. going to clamp it. Okay. We want them all to be the same. I've already done a few. So I've done a few. I mean, I haven't picked up a TIG welder in quite a while, so it takes a little bit to get used to again. But we can make it happen.
Those aren't terrible. I mean, there's a lot better welders than I am out there and they do it every day. I can deal with that. Well, we got the kids back in the shop playing hockey. But we got this all ready to go for tomorrow. Hopefully, that's the game plan. So we will see you either tomorrow or whenever we start hanging this. So see you then. Bye. Okay, we're gonna end the video. So we are December 20th. Christmas is gonna be the end of the week. So shop is pretty well cleared out of all the stuff. That's just odds and ends uh, with the belt that are gonna go on, on Jan in the week of January 9th, that whole week, then this belt will be finished up. We're gonna head down there and see uh, the hanging product. So got a few more odds and ends to finish up. I'll explain when I get there. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, we're gonna check out my new camera here. This is a DG, DGI, DJI. It's a DJI. <laughs> Ugh, hang on. So it's a pocket. So, let's see how, let's, well, there it's gonna look at me. One, two, three. Okay. So, let me know what you think about the audio and everything. I gotta get this clip on still, and it's supposed to make the sound quality that much better. But anyways, we are going to, uh, let's find, one, two, three. Okay, so this thing's actually gonna be pretty sweet. I'm not gonna use it for all my videoing, but if I wanna walk around the farm or something like that, this thing can stick in my pocket. So hopefully the quality is going to be uh, pretty sweet. Comes with a wider lens and different things like that. I've done a lot of research. This seems to be a fit for me. I'm gonna have to be careful with it though, compared to the GoPro, because it's pretty durable. I've dropped that thing lots of times. So um, I'm still gonna be using my GoPro for lots of stuff, but for uh, I think walking around and whatever, this is gonna be more convenient. So anyways, let's head down and see what's going on. Okay, we're down in the manure storage building. Get you guys to flip around, there we go. So that is chicken manure. This building is uh, 40 wide by 100 long. So when we get both barns into this building, uh, I want a nicer pile all the way along here. Uh, so with the spreader that should do it so you can see we got the spreader up there it's hung uh, it's just hung we have to we have to get it level still put more braces on yet we're gonna make a walkway above it we want to tie all the uh, trusses together with this wood um, those six by sixes are to hang the motor and the gearbox which is gonna go right above my head here I'm zoom back out that uh, is the game plan with that. Uh, that is the very end. It'll just go back on. Of course, uh, we can't have it fully together because that it, we can't just be dropping manure onto that. It's not going to spread it anywhere. So it's still going to be. So January. Hang on. One, two, three. There we go. So January. Ninth, we are going to try spreading that manure and then uh, the guys are going to come here and they're going to put the belt on that and we got to get a few more brackets like I just said um, as you can see we uh, have a little skip of snow it's cold but we have not had a lot of snow or rain in the last little bit I mean I'm not complaining because I actually hate moving snow it's not that fun uh, so that is kind of what's gonna be going on here um, so also there we go you can see that probably see a little bit of water in the front there so we built this building we assumed having the sides open was going to be a good idea to let it air out because we don't want the steel to rot but uh, the downfall is we do get a bit of rain in here and so it does make that manure a little bit wetter so i don't know we're just going to deal with it as it comes i'm not too sure what's going to go on but hopefully it, Hopefully when we spread it, it's going to spread all the way along here where I'm standing and then it's going to have a nice big pile up to the ceiling is the plan. That's still actually pretty dry manure. It's hardly liquid, but um, I would like it to be drier than what it is. It's just easier to handle when you move. Uh, also, what's been going on just with the last few years and COVID and trying to get certain products for my feed, like we used to use meat meal. Now we use soy meal. I might explain that in some other videos but uh, 
with this ration that we've been using, it's a lot of salt, and salt makes their manure run. So we've been putting different supplements in there, uh, like bio, it's basically baking soda, and it's supposed to supplement the salt and make the manure drier, which it has. So that pile is actually pretty, pretty decent compared to what it was. It was a lot sloppier than that. So hopefully this will help dry that out as well as the game plan. Anyways, uh, I will see you guys here on Christmas. I, um, I think I said earlier in the video I was going to do a live deal as we are pick gathering eggs on Christmas Day. And found a nut. So uh, I'll see you guys then. Make sure you like, subscribe, have a good one. I hope you kind of enjoy. It's just, this is just a little bit what's been going on the last few weeks. Um, and that's okay. I'm really trying not to work too hard before Christmas. Uh, after Christmas, we're going to get right back into it. Anyways, like, subscribe, peace, have a good one.